It's gonna get hot in here real quick. Hey guys, today I thought I would do a favorites video and I know the last couple of ones I've done have been like seasonal and I know I did like a spring one and then I did my summer and my winter one kind of like more artsy and less like sit down and chatty. But I didn't want to wait until like fall, like I know it's like, about to be fall, but it's not technically fall. So I didn't want to wait until then because there's a lot of things I've been really obsessed with that I just really wanted to talk about and things that I didn't want to put in like a more artsy one because I feel like those, I really like doing those but I can't like give you as much information about the stuff I like. So I thought today I would do just kind of like my current favorites, current obsessions. And normally in these videos I do beauty first. And I have quite a few beauty products, but I feel like not everyone watches my channel for beauty because obviously I'm not like a guru technically. I'm just like a beauty interested person. But I'm gonna work my way up from the bottom of my list. One is something about The Bachelor. So if you don't watch that, you're not really gonna get this but Wells from The Bachelorette he was like my favorite person on the whole show he is going to be on Paradise actually he probably was already on Paradise by the time this video goes up but I absolutely love Wells he's just like my favorite he's so funny he's cute and just like mature and like has like a real life he's not like Bachelorette famous you know what I mean like I feel like he still has his normal job and like his normal things and he's taking what his fame that he did get from the show and like putting it toward good stuff like I don't know I really like him but when Paradise comes on he has these drunk snaps chats that are so funny. I'm gonna leave his snapchat name below. I feel like him watching it is how I watch it. He just says what he says and it's so funny. I really really like him so if you liked him on the show and you didn't know he does that on snapchat then definitely go follow him on snapchat. Now I have to let my cat out. Oh my god. And then I have three of my videos that are my favorites, and I know that kind of sounds like I'm full of myself, but these are just videos I worked really hard on, or that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, and I just was really happy with the outcome. One of them is my travel vlog for the Poconos. I always want to vlog stuff like that, but I really like that video, like I just, I'm really happy with it. If you haven't seen it, I'll link that below. It was just like a really nice time, for the most part, um, until the end, but you can watch that to find out what happened, but it was just like... I don't know, I love that video. I'm really gonna know I'm gonna enjoy going back and watching that. Another one is my outfit of the week from July. That video, you guys know I try to do it as often as possible. They just take more time and effort than any other video at all. And like, I'm so grateful for my friend Candace who helps me film all my videos. I don't know what I would do without her. Thank you so much to her, but that video is just like, I'm so happy. Oh yay, the sun's coming out. Wonderful. But I really like the outfit of the week video. It's like the vlog style thing. I love doing those. If you haven't seen that either, you can go and check that out. It'll be linked below. My last video favorite of my own is my TV Addict video. That's a video I've never done anything like that ever on my channel, like ever. And it, I, it kind of entailed some acting on my part. Well, quite a bit of acting. Like terrible, like cringy acting. Like editing that video, I cringed so much. Like I just like, even in the bloopers, I was just like so embarrassed all the time I was doing it. I had such a fun time filming it, even though I was totally by myself. I I just, I don't know why, I just thought that video was super fun and like different from what anything I've done before so I, I really enjoyed doing that video. And then TV favorites which bounces right off that so nice smooth segue there Sam. <laughs> well done. So I have four, four not three, four, TV favorites. One is Unreal, and that's on Lifetime, but it's like kind of like a Bachelorette type show, but it's not like a reality show. It's like a scripted show that's like based on the idea of like the Bachelor, Bachelorette kind of show, and I just find it so interesting, the characters, the acting, like everyone is so good. It has everything you'd want. It has romance, it has drama, it has like lying and craziness, and like just everything. Especially if you watch The Bachelor, I feel like you'll really enjoy it just to see kind of how that stuff is actually unfolding. I don't know if that's based on truth, but I just find it very interesting. I really recommend watching that. Another one that ended is Baby Daddy. Not ended completely, just like ended the season. Baby Daddy, you guys know, I put this in like favorites before, but I still just love it so much. Like I laugh hysterically every time I watch that show. I know a lot of people loved the finale. I didn't so much, but it's still an amazing show regardless of that. And two more. The containment I've talked about before too. Containment ended. They didn't renew it for a second season, which I am so mad about. Like I can't even talk to you about how mad I am that they didn't they continue that show. Chris Wood, who is like the main guy in that show, is like my new favorite actor. I'm obsessed with him and I'm so bummed I won't be able to see him all the time in that show. But he is going to start being like a permanent character on Supergirl, which is like, I think, new to the CW. I really, really, really want to watch that show now, even though it looks kind of dumb, to be honest. I love Chris Wood, so anything he's in, I'm totally for. And then one that I actually started watching with my dad. 
he heard about it on some radio show and he was watching it and I just like got so into it in the first episode it's called The Night Of. It's on HBO. It might be done by now. It's a limited series and has 8 or 10 episodes but I find it really compelling. It, it's about like this college kid who is kind of like racially profiled as a murderer in this case about this girl being like stabbed a million times and they just like all the evidence is pointing to him although as the viewer you're not I guess supposed to think it was to him and they aren't looking at like, any other suspects and it's like that his lawyer and like the the whole like system how it's like just completely against him I find it super super interesting it's kind of also about how like prison like putting an uh, innocent person in prison can change them um, I don't know, I just find it super interesting and it's very compelling. Like if you start watching it, you're gonna want to finish it. And one movie favorite, and I don't know if you guys follow me on Snapchat, if you do, great. If you don't, my thing is here and always down below, but Spotlight. I talked about it on, on Snapchat. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still on Netflix because that's, that's where I watched it. And it's so good. Spotlight was the one that won the Academy Award for like the best picture, I think. But it has like Rachel McAdams, Mark Ruffalo, other people who I can't remember. And it's about the Catholic Church and everything that was going on there a couple years back. When I first heard about it, I was like, who wants to watch, watch that? That's like so depressing. And it kind of is, but it's so good. Like, the way the movie goes about it isn't what you would expect. It's kind of like you would hear about what the movie's about and think, I don't want to watch that because it, it's just something I don't want to, like, deal with. It's something I don't want to hear about because that's, like, so upsetting. But the way they go about the movie isn't like that. Not to make it seem like it's not upsetting because it obviously is. It does something that makes it so interesting and I would really recommend watching that if you haven't. And then two music favorites this month. I don't really have music favorites. I feel like I haven't in a really, really, really long time. But one is Alicia Cara. Is that how you say her name? I don't know. Half the times I see her name it says Alessandra, I think. And other times it's like Alicia. I don't know. But I love her. I don't know what it is. It's like her voice. The songs that she sings are also like really nice and meaningful. I feel like they really speak to me for some reason. I also really like what she stands for. If you ever heard her like speak or seen an article with like an interview with her. She doesn't wear makeup I think for all her live shows which I just find so cool. Like I just like I know I could never do that if I was famous. Like I find that so inspiring. She's amazing. I'll leave like two or three of my favorite songs below like links to some videos and stuff. And then someone who you've probably not heard of which is like a, like a like a crime that you haven't heard of him. And his name is Josh McDaniel. I'm gonna leave all his links below for social media and his videos and his songs. But he does a lot of covers and some original songs and he is amazing like I really really like how authentic his voice is and he's really good like he's just it's the kind of music that you listen to and you're like why isn't this guy famous it's a very kind of like Ed Sheeran vibe at least to me so I feel like he just like puts his music out there because he enjoys it and not because he thinks he's amazing or like he's like the next big thing but he just he just wants to share it and I I really like I just, I've, I've been like drawn to him. I actually messaged Josh and told him how like amazing I think he is and like asked his permission to put him in a video because I didn't know if he like wanted that much attention or not. But um, I actually discovered him on Twitter. I think he like, liked one of my tweets or something. And then I just like stalked him because that's what you do when like a very attractive guy like likes one of her things. I honestly would really recommend checking out him out on YouTube or Twitter or any of his social media. Like I said, I'll link it all below. He deserves more recognition for his talent. He's also really cute, so nice to look at also. So yeah. Anyway, totally was blushing from talking about that. Moving on. This is now the fashion beauty portion of this, so if you're uninterested, you can leave, and if you are still interested, then you can stay. My fashion favorite, my favorite piece of fashion, you know what I mean, is my new bag. This is the bag. It's my new bag. It's kind of small, well, a lot smaller than what I'm normally used to, but I am obsessed with this bag. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you probably would have seen it by now. But I found it at TJ Maxx for like 30 bucks and it's super high quality. I know it's green, which is kind of different. I've gotten tons of compliments on it already and I'm just really obsessed with it. I love this bag, but you will see what's in my bag so you can hear more about it there. Okay, now on to beauty favorites. I'm super excited about this part. Got lots of stuff this month. This month, it's not a monthly favorites. Wow. I have a lot of stuff right this current moment. <laughs> I'm gonna start with skincare. I think I have one skincare thing. And that is a new moisturizer. I actually went to the dermatologist this month and got a new prescription. She told me that the moisturizer I was using for night for my face was probably too heavy for me. And then she told me to use like CeraVe or anything with fewer ingredients or something more like, like, straightforward. And when I looked into CeraVe, or however you say it, I realized they had like 30 ingredients in the night cream. And I was like, that's not happening. Like, that's so many ingredients. So I found something that had a quite a bit fewer ingredients, and it's from Mario Badescu, which is like my favorite skincare brand. But I picked up the seaweed night cream. It comes in just like a little jar, which I know isn't as sanitary, but whatever. It's a nice green shade, and it smells like 
I don't even know. It just smells really nice. Honestly, I feel like it smells like my childhood. I can't put my finger on it. You guys need to go to the store and smell it. They sell this at Ulta and at Nordstrom. I just really recommend that moisturizer. It is really doing well for me. My skin is not breaking out even those little tiny bumps. Three makeup products. One, I don't know if I mentioned this. I probably put it in like beauty like tutorials and stuff this is the milani powder blush in romantic rose it looks like this i love milani's packaging i've been loving milani a lot lately they've been selling it at more stores so i have more access to it and for lower price this one is the one that's like matte it's in the shape of a rose i know it doesn't look like anything crazy in the container but i really love it and i'm actually not wearing it today that was a dumb thing to do but i love this it, i don't know what it is about milani blushes but i or powders, but they make my pores look really small. I think it would be good on anyone. They're very pigmented, but not like overly pigmented, where like you're gonna go, whoa, that's crazy. They have a ton of ingredients. Holy moly, wasn't aware of that. <laughs> I don't know, I just really, really love this color and the shade, and I wear this all the time, other than today. <laughs> Two more products. One is a brow product, and that is not drugstore, which is crazy. This is something I got for free from Ulta. They were having like a thing you don't have to buy anything you just get free product and it was a benefit brow product it was benefit cabrow but it has a brush when you open up the cap and then it has when you unscrew it like this gel cream the color they gave me they like looked at me and said oh this is your color and they gave me number one and i think i would have been better at number two like they gave me the lightest one and it's a bit too light for me i'm not actually wearing that today either what is wrong with me it is a bit light but i love it it fills in your brows really nicely and and doesn't overfill them doesn't put too much product on them blends really easily but it also keeps them in place so you don't need like a gel or anything to like make sure they don't move all around and if it was cheaper if i can get another one of these samples i totally would and like if you like expensive brow products go for it last makeup product um you guys probably would have seen my review about a month or so ago and that is the kat von d lock it concealer cream this is the shade light 11 neutral if you guys saw my review on this and you know i like this a lot um i have a, a video review and a blog post review i'll link those below but i love this i'm wearing this today and my skin just looks good like it it is such a nice concealer it covers better than anything i've tried from the drugstore you know i'm a huge drugstore makeup person when i look in a mag magnifying mirror it doesn't it's not like visible it's just so crazy great for on spots or redness around the nose it just doesn't get all creepy and dry and disgusting i can say there's an 85 percent chance i will repurchase this even though it's like 24 dollars two are perfumes or body sprays one's more like a daytime nice scent and one's more of like a perfume perfume like a for a night out you know not that i ever go on nights out one is something i didn't know we sold here I had no idea. I didn't know it was a thing until I ran into Ulta and found it and it's a Soap and Glory Original Pink Body Spray. I love the Soap and Glory Original scent of like the body butter and the hand food hand cream, like their original scent. I don't like any of the other ones. They just like make me nauseous. But the original one, I really like. And now they have a body spray. I think this, I want to say this is like $15. It might have been way less. I don't know. I'm sorry. But I will link all of these products below if you can buy them. It just smells clean and like a bit sweet, but not too sweet. I don't know how to describe it. If you've used their like basic products before then you know what I'm like you know what the smell is like and I just feel like it's the perfect daytime scent um it smells like soap you know what I mean and my night fragrance which is honestly I want to say my go-to for all year round you may have seen this in my fragrance collection video but I have the body spray and the perfume of this and that is the Victoria's Secret Heavenly but this is like one of their all go like their scents from like years and years ago this is the one they've like, never discontinued my mom used to love this back in the day I just love it it's like a really nice perfume smell it doesn't smell like an old lady but it doesn't smell like a teenager it's like perfect for any age I think I really really love this smell and I would totally recommend it that is my current obsessions my current favorites and i really hope you enjoyed this i hope you check some of this stuff out I really hope that you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration don't be afraid to tweet at me anything ask some questions go ahead like i said i'm gonna leave all the links below of anything i talked about whether you want to buy it or check it out whatever it is and yeah thank you so much for watching i really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to see more from me and i will see you in my next video bye um oh my god I need something so weird.